In this problem, a ball of mass 0.3 kilos is dropped from the top of a cliff of height 30 meters. As it falls, the ball is subject to a constant force of air resistance of magnitude 1.2 newtons. Find the magnitude of the resultant downward force on the ball as it falls. OK, so here is the ball. OK, now the ball is, has this uh, mass of 0.3 kilos. So it has weight working directly downwards at 0.3 g. It's got this air resistance working against it of 1.2 newtons. And the base of the cliff, OK, so that distance there is 30 metres. OK? So this is the picture. So find the magnitude of the resultant downward force on the ball as it falls. OK, so the resultant is that F net in F equals MA. So we've got, if I resolve uh, downwards, OK, and I'm just, I'm not going to put it equal to MA, OK, but just so you understand the direction of travel here, because, uh, sorry, this is accelerating downwards. We're just going to have the 0.3 g take away 1.2. Okay, that's all it's going to be. So 0.3, and I'm going to use 9.8 as the gravity, uh, take away 1.2, and that gets me 1.74 newtons. Okay, so that is the magnitude of the resultant downward force of the ball as it falls. Okay, if you'd taken upwards as positive and you'd just done 1.2 take away 0.3 g, you would have got one, minus 1.74. So you would have just had to uh, make sure that you use the positive as your answer. Okay, B, find the acceleration of the ball as it falls. Well, we now know when resolving downwards that we've got on the left hand side the net force is 1.74. And that's got to be equal to the mass times acceleration, so 0.3a. So if I do 1.74 divided by 0.3, I get 5.8. So a is 5.8 metres per second per second. C. Find the time it takes to reach the foot of the cliff. OK, so this is where the 30 metres is going to come in. So we're going to look at SUVAT now. So we want it to travel 30 metres. Now, the initial velocity, OK, it's just dropped from the top of the cliff, so that will be zero. I don't know the velocity, and I'm not asked to find it. I want to find the time, and I know the acceleration is 5.8 metres per second per second. So I want the equation that doesn't involve V, which is the third equation. So S equals UT uh, plus a half AT squared. So S is 30, U is 0, so 0 times T is 0, plus a half times A, so a half of 5.8 is 2.9, so 2.9 T squared. So T is the square root of 30 over 2.9, which is 3.2163, so 3.2 seconds to two significant figures. Okay, That's how long it takes for the ball to drop to the ground from the top of the cliff.